Wow, oh, look what we've got here. Sitting right next to this box of all these components is our interposer. And this perfectly captures what we're trying to do. We're taking everything that's sitting in this box and putting on this tiny little interposer silicon chip. Wow. It's like all of this and this? And that. That's our mission. And I think what a visual. Perfect. The Poet Optical Interposer is singular in its genius and in the novel way it feeds a world that has an endless appetite for more data, more connectivity, more everything. Low loss waveguide technology is at the heart of the integration of electronic and photonic devices into a lone multi-chip module. One platform to eliminate expensive components and assembly. One platform to align optical fibers and one platform to flatten costs and ignite the imaginations of engineers. Poet's optical interposer is here. A new wave of photonics design has arrived. How did it happen? How did Poet achieve with the optical interposer what others could not? Until recently, photonics was an area of networking infrastructure that seemed mostly untouched by the revolution of integrated circuits that has driven so much innovation in computing. We set about to architect a better way to bring all these individual components needed for photonics devices to work together. Dr. Suresh Venkatesan is POET's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. He spearheaded the creation of the Optical Interposer. Before POET, he led the innovation arm of Global Foundries. In 2016, he joined a startup company that was looking for an identity and a place in the semiconductor world. I wanted something with a sustainable competitive advantage in a large and growing market. Something truly disruptive. The invention of the optical interposer was an aha moment. We were trying to solve fundamental issues in packaging that were keeping cost and scale out of reach for photonics devices. So this invention was born out of necessity. Once we had the basic underlying technology worked out, we were ready to take the technology to the next level. And I asked Vivek, join. Vivek Rajgaria became Poet's president and general manager in November 2019 to drive the company to commercialization. Among his first tasks was securing a manufacturing partner. In my 30 years of working with photonic technology, the key challenge has been the integration, especially of photonic devices to form a optical engine. At POET, when I saw the optical interposer platform, I saw it was clear this was solving the key challenges that are being faced in the industry today. I knew once I got here, we would need a partner to help us scale our manufacturing. We got connected with Sanan Optoelectronics and its subsidiary SAIC. And once they saw the technology Suresh and the team had created, their reaction was much the same as mine they wanted to be a part of this journey. We formed Super Photonics with SAIC in Xiamen and are in the process of building out our operations there. We have a POET team in Shenzhen that works with the Super Photonics team and a product development division in Allentown and Singapore. And these initial products we're about to roll out are gonna reset the industry standard for integrated photonics. Those products are all built on the optical interposer. Here they are. 100G and 200G CWDM4 optical engines that will represent a cost savings of 25% to what is currently in the market. Because the light signal is mixed or multiplexed, CWDM engines require fewer optical fibers and additional cost savings. The POET light bar addresses the need for more reliable, higher-powered laser light sources for evolving switch architectures and data centers. POET also has the light bar C in the pipeline that will address the sensing market, including LiDAR, AI, edge computing, medical technology, and consumer products. POET's 400G designs demonstrate the versatility of its platform with FR4 and DR4 transmitter, receiver, and combined optical engines. Co-packaged optics, bringing the photonic devices closer to ultra-high-speed switches to save energy and expense. 
With Poet's design advantages and reduced assembly requirements, customers are already lining up to see it. And why is that? It's about the waveguides. We are able to directly integrate all the passive functions needed for an optical engine directly into the optical interposer's waveguide layer. Any active device, including lasers, modulators, detectors, etc., can be coupled to the waveguide layer with relative ease and high efficiency, making a hybrid system possible. POET has the ability to add as many channels as needed. Its technology can go from 4 to 8 to 16 to 32 channels and will still be smaller than other devices on the market. Plus, POET also flip chips lasers, detectors, and other electronic chips onto its hybrid platform. The optical interposer as a base platform brings cost and scale advantages that are unprecedented in the world of photonics. It converts individual line assembly to wafer scale automated manufacturing. That is a big leap that has not been done in the world of photonics today. More so, the optical interposer is extremely versatile. It can be used in data communications, can be used in medical devices, can be used in artificial intelligence and computing, it can be used in the sensing market. I can't think of another technology that provides that kind of versatility without giving up the benefits of cost and scale. POET touts its wafer scale assembly, but why is it important? Fundamentally, the world of photonics was mired in archaic technology that was being constructed and built one at a time with esoteric manufacturing techniques. We wanted to bring the advances made in semiconductor technology and apply it to the world of photonics. And that's what the optical interposer does. It converts manufacturing from making a single ice cube at a time to making a tray of ice cubes at a time. It dramatically changes the cost and scale factor associated with photonics devices. The optical interposer is manufactured at Poets Foundry, Silterra, Malaysia. Input comes from the product management team in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and the new development team in Shenzhen, China. The platform's first products are ready to debut and will target needs in the data center industry. Since it is critical to deploy our platform into a product and seed the market and customers, Poet has chosen to focus first on the communication sector. We're targeting the high volume applications in 100G and 200G data communications. Subsequent solutions in 400G, 800G, and co-packaged optics will follow. The optical interposer brings value to any device or system that integrates electronics and photonics, including the highest growth areas of computing. With our Super Photonics joint venture, we have the infrastructure in place to meet the large-scale manufacturing demand we anticipate coming our way. The application of Poet's optical interposer to photonics assembly results in ultra-small engines. You can conceivably fit four engines in the space occupied by one. Of course, that means the density of data transport is increased 4x. Miniaturization usually allows you to provide for different applications, dream of different things, use the same components in different ways, and we believe that's what Poet's Optical Interposer allows component manufacturers to do. As Poet Technologies enters an exciting new phase of product development and deployment, the entire industry is poised to benefit. The company has several designs slated for sampling and release in 2021. These products, all based on the novel Optical Interposer platform, erase limitations that have existed in the optoelectronics industry for years. Let's take a closer look. We begin with the light bar, which shows how the hybrid integration of photonics and electronics happens. The tiny size makes its footprint one of the smallest among transmit optical engines. But its bang is tremendous. The light bar is a remote laser source that can be used for 400G, 800G, and co-packaging applications. Each laser is passively aligned in the X, Y, and Z directions by features built into the platform. The light bar consists of four lasers operating at different wavelengths, flip chipped onto the interposer platform with the signals mixed together by a multiplexer, integrated into the waveguides. 
the optical engine gets better. The four-channel CWDM4 transmit engine has optical eye performance that will, well, open a lot of eyes. The openness of the eye shows the fidelity to the original data and the quality of transmission. The CWDM4 optical engine also surpasses industry specifications for signal strength. The power coming from this optical engine can be varied to cover distances from 500 meters to 10 kilometers. Poet's lasers will grab your attention. They are performing beyond expectation as the optical interposer designs are put to the test. The lasers in the CWDM4 transmit optical engine are beating industry standards for power production over a wide temperature range. These lasers have been flip chipped with absolutely no degradation in signal or power. We mentioned customers, big ones. Here the customer's external transmitter evaluation board is shown with POET's CWDM4 transmit optical engine wire bonded to it. This procedure validates that POET's optical transmit engine meets specifications when it is part of the complete transmitter data path. With the fibers attached and the bonding pads in place, it's absolutely clear to customers how POET's optical engine can easily replace the existing larger sub-assemblies in their final product. More lasers, more performance. You're looking at an optical engine with four high-power continuous wave lasers that support the FR4 wavelength specifications. This device is now a 400G or 800G multiplex light source. When POET adds its demultiplexer and detectors, which it already has, and a modulator, this platform will become a fully functional 400G or 800G transmit optical engine. The 400G and 800G designs are getting attention partly because the optical interposer cures a major pain point in the industry, coupling losses between different components. Coupling loss is dramatically reduced by POET's proprietary spot size converters embedded in the waveguides that are able to match up the size of the light beam connecting the photonic devices. The platform is also unique because it has an excellent heat conductor that removes heat from the lasers, increasing the optical output. Here, the power curve shows high optical power over a range of operating temperatures, a key requirement for transceivers. The foundational technologies at POET applies to a number of market verticals. We have discussed the versatility of this platform previously. We want to start in data communications, but we believe we bring tremendous value to other market verticals like medical, like artificial intelligence and computing, sensing. We believe the miniaturization, we believe the scale, the cost, apply equally to all of these market verticals. I would love for the optical interposer to become the de facto standard by which photonics devices are manufactured now and in the future. And what a visual. Perfect.